Okay, so I was telling you that if the promoter sequence gets changed, either by some mutation or in this case, insertion of a transposon, it could be other mutations, but the, the, trans the transposon is kind of a dramatic one because it's a big chunk of DNA, but it could be just some sequence change in the promoter. So I told you if there's a sequence change in the promoter, so, okay, in the promoter upstream from the start of transcription, then it affects how much mRNA gets made, and then it may affect the phenotype. But maybe, let's see, maybe I'll do a poll. Um, it will, the poll will be, if your gene sequence is the same and your promoter sequence is the same, as in, the same as the functional one, then, uh, but the sequence of the transcription factor is changed. Can that change the, the phenotype? So here, let's go here. Pretend that there's no TEM3 here. Okay, so there it's, it's this case up here. You have the gene, you have a promoter. The transcription factors are these blobs here. They are the proteins that will bind the promoter. And then they kind of say, hey, RNA polymerase, come over here, transcribe this gene. That's exactly how it happens. So like everybody's doing it. Anyway, so the, trans the transcription factor, they have a, their structure that binds a specific DNA sequence and they, they link, the language uses, they recruit the RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase is what reads the DNA and makes an mRNA or ribosome RNA or tRNA um, sequence based on the gene it's reading. So if there, let's say that this red blob here had a mutation, so there's a mutation in the transcription factor, can a mutation of the transcription factor uh, impact the expression or the phenotype you're going to see that is conditioned by this other gene? That's the next poll.